but it rains, it pours and your home is inundated with water. Is that caused by a storm or a flood? You better know the difference and what you're covered for or you could be in for one hell of a fight with your insurer. Water's water and they keep asking me where the water come from and I keep telling the same story, it's come from the sky. It's water. It doesn't class any difference from a flood. It's still water, it's still flooded, it's exactly the same. Now how would you describe your battle with insurance? Horrendous. They are the victims, not just of a natural disaster, but of the insurance companies they paid to look after them. Were you specifically covered for flood? The policy doesn't say flood. The policy says water damage. I'm just a normal person. If it says water damage, water's water. Not according to Mike Adlard's insurance company, QBE. Mike says he's been told it was a flood and he's not covered. Well over 100,000 in losses um, and yeah, damages, well over. So you think you'll have to close down? This particular shop, it's looking like we're going to have to, yes. So Donna, this is home? Yes, this is my beautiful little home. Not Mind the tiles. <laughs> not looking quite as beautiful as it used to, I'm sure. No, it's not, but I still call it home. Single mum, Donna Lloyd lost everything on the ground floor of this townhouse. The body corporate didn't have flood insurance, so she doesn't know when, if ever, repairs will begin. They said no, well, you don't have flood insurance, but it still came in, it's still flooded. Rain comes from the sky, so it has to fill up somewhere. Unfortunately, it was here. It's two months since monsoonal rain swamped Townsville, and this was one of the worst hit areas. It's a business and shopping precinct south of the city, and as you can see, most of the businesses here are still closed. But you only have to look at the statistics to see how big this disaster is. About 3,300 properties inundated, sparking about 26,000 insurance claims at a cost of more than $1 billion. Do you think there are small businesses and property owners here who will never recover? Absolutely. David Keane runs a business called Solve My Claim, which goes into bat for people finding themselves fighting for insurance. He says the issue in Townsville is that while homeowners are mostly covered for flood in their policies, unit owners and small businesses are not. People are coming out to, to just say, well, this whole event is flood, whereas there may be other, uh, other circumstances such as stormwater or sewage water overflow before the river flooded, and that's where things are becoming quite complex. N never thought it would happen to us. Lee Lane and Joanne Chambers both own units in the same complex and say their insurance company, Vero, has just told them what happened was caused by a flood and their body corporate doesn't have flood insurance. That's when we've become most devastated, realising that the insurance company aren't going to pay out. So you could end up with very little at all? We, yeah, we could end up with nothing. So the floors had to come up, you've had to put down yep. plastic just so you can Just get, so we can keep sweep operating. the floor. You know, that we can wash it, we can sweep it, we can vacuum it. But, it, you know, it's for a new client walking through the front door, they think, what the hell? Hairdresser Kevin Cooper is trying to keep operating while he wrangles with Vero, which is also his insurance company. How many business people here do you think are finding themselves with no coverage? Well, from the bottom of uh, Charters Towers Road to here, I would say at least 60, 80 business people. And that's just in one suburb. And that's just, just in one street. After an event like this one, insurance companies decide on whether or not they're going to pay out based on the advice of experts called hydrologists. Now, the hydrologist for Kevin's insurer decided that the damage to his property was significantly caused by rainwater, by a storm. But when it came to the hydrologist working for the insurer for the entire building, he decided it was a flood. So, which is correct? Is it a flood or a storm? The most frustrating thing through the whole event is having to prove to insurance companies that the damage was done through rain inundation from 11 hours of continual torrential rain 
and have to prove every point. There's no doubt Townsville flooded after the dam gates were opened late on the 3rd of February. But Kevin, Lee, Joanne and Donna all say their properties were flooding on the 2nd of February when they were evacuated after days of driving rain. And these videos and photos taken before the dam release prove they're right. I don't think it's fair that houses on either side of us get automatic flood policies, but we're different because we're under a body corporate. Look, many businesses and many body corporates make a decision about the kind of cover that they want, and many do decide to go without flood cover for, for whatever reason. Campbell Fuller from the Insurance Council says insurers will try to help even if customers don't have flood cover. In many cases, damage was incurred by the storm long before the river broke its banks. Uh, so the insurers are looking at how they can offer part payments to those customers to help them through this very difficult time. But we had water damage and, uh, and that sort of happened up to the event. At this public meeting organised by David Keane, there were more horror stories like this man who says an insurance appointed builder demolished his house for nothing. And they came in and demolished the inside of my house, um, only to be told post that they won't accept the claim. This woman says her insurer wants to wait six months to see if her house continues to subside. So while the steps are falling apart and the tiles are falling off and we've got two little kids running around, it's OK because I told them I'll sue them if they get hurt, but they don't care. Insurance is not cheap, but so especially for a business. Then there are cases like Danielle Beltramelli, who thought she had flood insurance on her Red Rooster store, only to find it won't save her. I ticked the box for flood coverage. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't aware that it was only capped at a quarter of what I'm usually insured for. Um, so that makes it difficult with ripping up flooring and um, tiles and walls and things like that. Back at the meeting, David urges everyone to submit photos so they can at least prove what storm damage there was before the flood in the hope they get some insurance. Where there's evidence to show that this is not just the river overflowing, uh, there may be ways that you can actually have your claim partially or even fully accepted. You know, let's, let's see if as a community we can help each other to have a chance. And remarkably, after we become involved, Kevin Cooper says his insurance company started responding to his calls. So thanks to a current affairs. So, yeah, thanks to current affairs. What a there. Thank you very much. I'm glad we could help. OK. But hopefully you'll be able to help a lot of other people as well. Hope so. We contacted the insurance companies in that story for comment. QBE won't for privacy reasons. Vero says it will explore every opportunity to pay claims which have arisen from this event. That statement is on our website.